Hello and welcome to Ground Control. The item for review is the Sky RC D100 ACDC Dual Balance Charger. And this has become my go-to charger. I love this thing. What do you get with it? You get two um, charging cables with XT60 connectors on it. You get two balance boards to connect to it. You also get um, two charging cables that have no connectors on the end but the wires are pre-tinned which which I like that option because um, I just went ahead and soldered on two XT30 connectors on the spare um, cables that I received. You have uh, little kickouts underneath this that that um, angle the the top of it up about 15 degrees so it's easier to see when you're in a sitting position. Unfortunately mine came with a EU power cable so uh, luckily my old charger had a US uh, power cord that I just went ahead and put on this one. You get um, a PC link micro USB connector here where you, so that you can connect it to your PC. You can download management software and you can you can manage and monitor it from your computer if you choose to do so. It also has an optional Wi-Fi module that will connect to this micro USB connector um, so that you can monitor it, manage it from your smartphone if you choose to do that. You can also make uh, firmware upgrades to the unit from your computer through that management software and through that PC link. It also has, and I like this, it has, excuse me, it has a, uh, uh, a standard USB port on it that supplies 5 volts at 2.1 amps. So what I did was I took one of my old USB cables and cut the end off of it and then um, crimped on some uh, servo pins. And so I have a servo connector on the end of it so I can use that to power and test my um, all-in-one FPV systems. I can use it to power and test my receivers and use it to power and test my receivers and test uh, servos with it. So I love having that. There's two temperature ports on it. I've never used a temperature port, but it does have two of those um, available if you choose to use it. It also has a DC connector on the back of it with the XT60 port and you can supply 11 to 18 volts DC to it. Now on AC power it has an internal power supply that supplies 100 watts for both channels and you have two completely independent channels on this unit. If you supply DC voltage to it it'll give you 100 watts per channel rather than 100 watts total. But um, um, I've just got it connected via AC right now. The screen is very high contrast. The fonts are easy to read, um, even when you're not real close to it. I like that. I've got, uh, since it has two completely independent charging ports, you can charge batteries anywhere from one cell to six cell. You have a balance board, two balance boards where you can, you can balance um, anything from a two to a six cell. And so the internal power supply will provide however much power to each channel that you're requesting of it. So if I want to use 60 watts over on this side to charge a 3 cell battery and 40 watts on the other channel to charge a 2 cell battery, I can do that. The batteries can be completely different in cell count and they can be completely different in chemistry. So if I want to um, charge a NICAD battery on channel A and a, a lithium polymer battery on channel B, I can do that. It supports all the usual suspects. Um, you can charge lead acid, uh, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride. You can charge uh, LIFE, uh, lithium ion, and LiPo batteries, and it also supports lithium high voltage cells. Now, I don't have any lithium high voltage cells, but if you have them, uh, this charger will support that as well. I think for the price, I think this charger is an excellent value. And I like having a charger that has a built-in power supply. I don't want to have to source a separate power supply to the charger. So I like the fact that it has an internal power supply. So I want to bring this in closer so that you can see the, the interface. So let me bring this in and then focus if I can so that you guys can read this. Okay, so uh, one thing that it also has, it has a battery meter. 
and it also has an internal resistance meter. So one thing I like to do is when I get a new battery, I put it on, I put a full charge in it, and then I record what the what the highest internal resistance is. It'll give you the internal resistance per cell, and it will give you the total uh, resistance of the battery pack, so that you can see if uh, when that internal resistance starts getting fairly high, then you know it's probably time to retire that battery pack. So let's go ahead and go in on channel A. I have a two cell, which says that it is a 50C battery, and it's an 850 milliamp. And on channel B, I have a, a three cell LiPo. It's a 1300 milliamp. It says it's a 40C battery. So if my two cell battery is a 50C, and my three cell battery is a, a 40C, the internal resistance of this two cell battery should be lower, correct? Because it can supply more amps. It has less internal resistance. So let's go into the resistance on this two cell. And it shows cell one has an internal resistance of 23, and cell two has an internal resistance of 22, and I believe those are micro ohms. Let me go to channel B and check the resistance on it. Okay, so my three cell has an internal resistance on cell one of 13, on cell two of 12, and on cell three of nine. So what's going on here? My three cell pack is supposed to be a 40C. And look at the uh, internal resistance. My two cell pack is supposed to be a 50C battery. So if it, is an, if it is in fact a 50C battery, then why is the internal resistance on the cells double that of my three cell battery, which is only a 40C? So this tells me that this two cell pack is more than likely closer to a 20 to 25C pack, not a 50C pack. So I think they were fudging the numbers a little bit on that on that two cell battery and this internal resistance kind of proves that. Okay, so let me exit out of that program and let's go into battery meter. So I'm on, on, on channel B with my three cell. So it shows you the internal voltage per cell and they're all set at 3.8. So, you know, it's doing a good job at maintaining balance on these cells. And if you hit the start button again, it'll show you the total voltage of the pack. Let's go up to A and let's go to battery meter and 3.81, 3.81. So those two cells are exactly the same. Hit it again and it gives you the total of the pack 7.62. So let me stop out of that program and let's go to LiPo battery program. Let's select that. And I wanna go ahead and get a charge started on that two cell pack. My only complaint about this so far has been the fact that it's got a bit of a noisy fan on it. Now that's not a real big thing, but um, and I'm sure that all of them don't have noisy fans on them, but this one's kind of noisy. So let me go ahead and get out of the um, battery meter program here. Let's go forward to the LiPo program. Let's select that. And I've got it set up for a three cell. Let's go ahead and start charging on that. So I've got a two cell charging on two cell charging on um, channel A and a three cell charging on channel B. Can you see those charging right now? Um, I think that this this, uh, this particular charger I think is a great value and I just checked on Banggood's site and they currently have a coupon code on this I think for 20% off. I wish they would have had that when I purchased it. But um, that's going to put this thing at this charger at around 80 bucks. I don't know how how long that coupon is going to be good for. So if you're looking for a decent charger at a good value, you might want to consider this particular unit. And that fan hasn't kicked in yet, but uh, it probably will here in just a second, and then you can hear it. But um, it has been an excellent charger. I've had this charger for about three months. I've probably charged about 100 packs through it and I have probably there go, there goes the fan so you can hear the fan and sometimes it's noisier than that so I think I just got a unit with a noisy fan what can I say but um, I've, I've charged about a hundred packs through this and probably uh, put just as many probably into storage mode so it's it's been used uh, it's had significant use on it. I haven't had any problems with it. I absolutely love this charger. So um, I give it a big thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed this review. 
uh, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if you're looking for a decent charger right now, I have in the uh, in the video notes I have the coupon code and the link to this at Banggood's site. So um, you know, 20% off of that. That's that's not too it's not too bad if you're looking for a charger. So uh, happy flying, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.